Who is Randy? Don't bring anyone love into this. Yo, mama in the fucking shit! Dude, so we got to say this by the time this comes out, it'll be a while from when we recorded this just because of, you know, how this show has to be backlogged. But at this point, we're less than 24 hours uh, of having the RPC, the Robert Paul Champagne documentary home here now uploaded to our YouTube channel. If you listen only to this show, if you're only a, a listener that downloads the show, uh, I highly encourage you to go to our YouTube channel, Your Mom's House Podcast on YouTube, and watch the 30-minute documentary slash interview that Josh Potter did with Robert Paul Champagne in Harlem. Um, there is there. It was just like, in, in less than 24 hours, it got um, about 200,000 um, listens. I guess you could say um, views. Have I'm you sorry. had anybody that was a real serious uh, possibility? Some guy he's getting out in August on Rikers Island, but uh, the deal is he has grand theft, and that is not a good deal. Yeah. So you're thinking because of the grand theft, he might not grand, make it out. Grand. I don't mind a rape or a little minor robbery, but grand theft. He sees antiques. I don't want to be the next victim. That's one of the highlights <laughs> of your interview with with Robert. It, by the way, so in our world, this broke our internet, right? Like this got, like I said, incredible amount of views for a video of that length. Uh, all the feedback was just over, they, overwhelming support and joy for the profile of Robert, but also for the job you did and that Robert and that Paul Brazil did in making it. People are over the moon about it. Uh, did this blow your mind when he said a little rape? I don't mind, but no, grand because, theft. I mean, did it blow anyone's mind? I mean, we went into this because of a video where he's like, piss on me, beat me. Mm -hmm. I think I thought it was kind of par for the course, you know, mm -hmm. wasn't the shocking part to me. But the fact that he was like concerned about grand theft was the was the more surprising part i think that that was yeah that was the part i was like what really he's Why? like they see these antiques yeah that part it's like he doesn't care about the rape that part i was like okay i i get where you would be coming from in that case but the part where he's like but these antiques i'm like all right it's really interesting to me when somebody values items that nobody else does you know like when like it's i guess you normally would think of it as sentimental things yeah but sometimes people think of the item as not sentimental they're like that is very valuable and you realize like i i bet most people would be like no nah, i'm good yeah right? On, i'm always shocked at like how valuable a baseball card could be yeah or something like that because i feel like did you collect that stuff you like sports i tried to i think my dad definitely collected a lot of baseball cards but then uh you know gary v yeah he's he's on this i see him on instagram He's on this kick that he thinks that they're about to make a huge comeback. Really? Co yeah, baseball cards. Well, my cards. dad still has them because he's like, this will be your college someday. And I guess what? <laughs> Didn't work out. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, did you go at all to college? Yeah, three years. And did the cards pay for it? No, I'm <laughs> fucking paying for it. <laughs> still, I've got a really? long way to go. Hell yeah, dude. Which college did you go to? I went to a small Jesuit college in Buffalo called Canisius college expensive oh yeah what i didn't were, know any better what were those loans how much were the loans how much were the loans i owed it i think i started with 80 grand in debt <laughs> so for, for not even getting for a communications <laughs> degree which i think is highway robbery it is i have they, the same school should be in jail i have the same worthless degree yeah i didn't get i didn't I'm even a get it com major <laughs> i didn't even get it i was already i had a full-time job in the business and i'm like what am i wasting time getting a degree for so like just give us 80 grand we'll be fine yeah yeah okay so cool. and i yeah i went three years and it was 80 grand yeah three years mm -hmm. eighty thousand dollars yeah and i'm not i mean i dropped out i'm not like crying about it but i uh yeah you know it sucks no <laughs> and the baseball cards didn't do shit that's all i'm saying maybe uh try to get those cars now and see what kind of dough we can get from them, you know maybe yeah i mean maybe i should just uh have robert let me uh, get some of those antiques. Oof, and I don't think so. I don't think that's okay. I don't think, think that'll it. work out. I, I just feel like he, uh, he would not be willing to part with those. Maybe you could get him to leave them to you in his will. 
Well, he is looking for someone to leave stuff in his will, and I feel like I am high on that candidate. You got to be right on the now. list. Yeah, <laughs> I feel like one I of might the be. reasons is that he uh, knows your full name. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he has my phone number. Yeah, uh, yeah, wild, and he, yeah, he can. Cons- I, I consider him a friend as well. By yeah, the way. yeah, no, he's great. Um, there's so many moments. Like it's all the things that like we wanted to know. You ask one of my favorite moments. Here's a highlight that you ask him about drinking piss. When did I you first drink piss? When I, was the first time that happened? I did that when I went to the, the leather bars. Yeah, they did them right in the leather bars. Huh? Yeah. If you didn't do it, well, you're a loser. You couldn't stay in the bar. Oh. Okay. How about that? That's something, huh? Yeah. Drink this piss or get the or fuck get out. Get out. Here. Yeah. That really separates the men from the real gays. Yeah, they know. They yeah, yeah exactly. You're fucking hardcore. And I, you know. It's interesting that that was the bar's policy because, uh, you know, if people drink piss, they're not really spending a lot of money at the bar. Right. Hardcore fun. So it might be the reason it went out of style. You know Maybe. I mean? Yeah, yeah. But That I just bar didn't like, stay open very long, maybe because of their business practices. What that I, really does, though, to me, when I, when I, when I hear him say that, mm-hmm. is like, that means savages only. Yeah. So then you know that everyone there is down for whatever. You're not like, hey... I wonder if this guy would be willing to have, you know, uh, spend the night talking to me. Like it's dude, right. everyone's there is drinking piss. It's like you're in the club, you know, it's Yo, like, yeah. uh, I don't know. That's why I asked him even if it was some sort of hazing, he didn't really respond to it. But it, I asked him if it was some sort of hazing, meaning like initiation, you know, right. like you're, you're, you drink the piss you're in kind of thing. Yep. And then he just kind of like took it to the next level. But no, they just seem to be. Drinking piss the whole night through. Drink that piss, man. I'm loving it. Hell yeah. It's gotta be good. It's it's for like man. And I know I know people are disappointed that I didn't uh either drink the piss or share my piss with Robert. I really thought that might happen. Yeah, what happened there? The thing is, and this is this comes up in a lot of scenarios with certain complaints perhaps, but there is no space in that room. Yeah. There is no space to set up cameras properly. There is no space. We're lucky we got either of us in a, in a shot. Yeah. You know? Uh, and so if I were to piss, we weren't allowed to go in the bathroom also, by the way. And the kitchen. You were was, not allowed to go to the bathroom. Not allowed to go check out the bathroom. As we have in our tour coming out at a later date, you won't see the bathroom because we weren't allowed to go in there. And we weren't allowed to go into one of the bedrooms. What do you feel like is in those rooms? I don't know. Because the stuff that we were allowed to go in, I was like, why are we allowed to go in here? You know? Yeah. <laughs> so. God. I don't <sighs> fucking know. He, but, did, he did this interview, like, what, two feet from you? Yeah. You could see naked. at one point in the interview how close we're sitting with yeah. the hands down. And, that, and, the, and his genitals are barely covered by his leg being yeah, up. Yeah. Um, I wonder what would happen if you would have leaned lean forward and just, you know. Give it a kiss. Down I would there. have. Uh, I, well, that brings me to the reason the piss thing didn't happen is because I'm adverse to the smell of urine. Mm-hmm. It really bugs me. Uh-huh. And it was profound throughout the house <laughs> really? already. And if I were to then piss into a glass, I might have thrown up. And there was no place. <laughs> there was no place to throw up. <laughs> and then you're like, I got to go to the bathroom. And you open it. He's like, sorry, I got to do it. Boom. Wrench just, over the head. Yeah. So <laughs> it was just like one of those things where and, and poor Paul, our director, is, by the way, you see how close we're sitting. Paul is literally standing right next to us there. We're, we're all confined into a space as big as like this to this. It's to that me. small, huh? That small. We were in a little but alcove. Is the, reason, the rest of the sh- there's all kinds of stuff everywhere. Around. That's the thing. Is that is it so small because of the amount of stuff that's yes. there? Yes, and is. he has little tunnels to go. Like his hallway is just so a we're talking path. borderline hoarding, a complete hoard. Oh, okay, and you'll see in the tour more of that, I'm sure. Uh, so okay, and then here. Oh, this is I think so many people immediately. Like, like I said, at this point that this has been out, it's been out less than 24 hours when we're when we're doing this segment hundreds of people messaged about a cockroach that's uh, crawling i don't know if you saw i it. didn't see it uh and i'm i feel so blessed that i'm so blind because <laughs> i probably didn't see a lot of things in that dark place yeah you know that i wouldn't have wanted i think to it's see. crawling on the back panel right right over yeah here. is this the clip so i have two clips one of just to see if you could spot it mm-hmm. and then another one with it highlighted like a oh, okay. football highlight okay let's see 
to go set the stars. You got to float away and go, go with the flow, ma. <laughs> and he came out. Gotta go set the <laughs> okay. Let go shut the stars. You gotta float away and go, go with the flow, yeah. huh? <laughs> And he came out. I think a lot of people, what they were excited about was not to like. I mean, look, roaches are everywhere. It's not like you can't find a roach in a in any place. But that your nickname also is Roach. Yes. So you were there in more than one form. Yes, I was. I it was like I uh, jumped up in the background. There's so. Is that much a roach? Is that what that is? I think so. No, yeah, here yeah. comes the go shut the yeah. stars. You gotta yeah. float away. Yeah. Go, go with the flow, man. Yeah. yeah, it's a roach. <sighs> but you know, it's like I'm so glad you I were there in June it. in New York. Yep. I mean, there's roaches in everywhere. Of there's, course. There's roaches uh, in any apartment. Um, you also got into celebrity talk with him. Oh, yes. Um, some of the famous men he's been with. Here's an audio highlight of that. Now, tell me one thing. Tell me the most sexually wild time you've ever had the most successful you know what i'm saying like the most we all have memories of our past you know where we go that's the night you know do you have one of those stories when i had to sing a, the, the lead singer queen the lead singer queen mr freddie mercury and this is i'd imagine before he unfortunately uh was well, infected we, with the hiv virus well or we you don't warned know him he never listened really <laughs> wow that sounds about right to me yeah you yeah. know People Does are like, all oh, these wild tales and stuff. And I'm like, wild tales? I, I, they all sound true. Wouldn't it be wild if Robert was the kind of guy who, like, you know, he's, he's so out there with his sexual needs. And, like, he's like, piss on me, beat me. And, like, just a guy on the street can come in. But he's like, you got to wear protection. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Well, he, he is that way, dude. Yeah. He is kind of like, there. there is that yin and yang to him, which uh -huh. is a very uh, intriguing part about Robert, is that he's, he's very careful and caring mm -hmm. and sweet. But he has another side that he wants to just get punched in the fucking face by a giant black man. Right. While he pounds his ass. Or Latino, let's be honest. Or Latino. Or, as we learned in the interview... Now, Middle Eastern as well. Middle Eastern guys can get in there. Um, also, try it out. Uh, this is uh, what, uh, for me, my personal hardest laugh. I mean, there's, it was like intriguing. It's fun. It's entertaining. It's just, there's so much going on. But I laugh so hard when you give him <laughs> at the end merch mm -hmm. and he does a couple hard eye rolls <laughs> yeah. where he's like thanks yeah and he rolls his eyes so hard at it i laugh i watched that part like 10 times i'm trying to figure out if it's because they are shirts in general mm -hmm. he's just eye rolling his eyes at the idea of, of clothing shirt yeah. yeah or is it because he's not into the fact that he's a meme i don't know yeah here's a couple right here where so. is your ad on a shirt that now you can just wear this around and you don't even have to say it anymore. You can just wear that this and work. you can read it. Yeah, there you go. That should There's work, this though. one. <laughs> <laughs> that should work. Oh, shit. Oh. Yeah, I'm fucking <laughs> And we have, so you can go around town now. You don't have to tell anybody oh, yeah, anymore. Oh, yeah, hat. This okay. Okay. got 2395 right on it for you, sir. Okay. Also... <laughs> <laughs> that is the best dude it's, a, it's like he knew the, I mean he's doing it right at the camera too it's yeah like, it's, it's either perfect placement like deliberate on his part or it's a perfect capture of a real moment yeah. which I think it is yeah, I don't yeah. think he's playing the camera I don't think so either I mean, <laughs> that's, a, it's, that's why it's so wild was, he's like oh thanks <laughs> yeah He's like mugging at the camera like he's fucking And it's gym also neighbors. funny because like you're just being like, here's some free stuff. <laughs> right. But then it built he gets a little he less eye rolls with a free computer. Uh, yeah, that's he let eye rolls less at a phone, just make sure boost. It could work with boost. And then I wish I were I mean, God help them. Everyone's man. telling me by the way, they're like, Yeah, he's not using these. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Like, we bought him an iPhone. People bought the bug me about. Like, you got to help him set it up. I'm like, I don't work for Boost. I don't know anything about Boost Mobile, man. I'm Come sorry. Come on, you got to go back and set him up with Boost. <laughs> and then, no, the cash. There was no eye roll. He was like, "Yep, take that." Oh yeah, put he was down. With it. I got to put this away. Yeah, yeah. All the eye rolls stopped at cash. Yeah, that's when things got serious. <laughs> I love him. Um, well, that was great, man. I, you know, people. People flipped out. They they fucking love the whole piece. You did a great job. You know? Thank you. I think you really... Thank you for uh, asking me to do it, by the way. Oh, my God. The main thing I really realized, having seen how that went, is um, 
we got to we got to figure out our next uh original you know piece that we do mm -hmm. where we can send you into the field and i don't know if we find the moose soup lady oh man i'll go down for some moose soup or um you know smoke some meth with that guy and see how fast you can i'm down for that too uh or the benadryl guy <laughs> Me and the Benadryl guy got things in common. So. Yeah, you do. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> Ten to twelve, bitch. You're not even. <laughs> there's, there's a lot of potential to do more of these. Yeah, for sure. So I hope we. I'm happy it. everybody enjoyed it for the most part, and uh, thanks for watching it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, thank you very much for supporting it. Oh, you just watched a highlight from your mom's house. And if you want to see more, just watch one of these videos or highlights here and definitely subscribe here. That way you can be kept abreast of all the brand new. Yes, I said the word, Tom. Don't judge me with your eyes. Try it out.